this is Carly. I'm trying out some of the Alpine Air Sierra Chicken Pasta today for my entree. Wanted to try out some um, new flavors for an extended hike I'm planning later in the spring. And everyone knows how to prepare the freeze-dried uh, meals. You tear open the pouch, you take out the oxygen absorber, you add the appropriate amount of water, which is usually two cups. I usually choose a quarter cup less. You can always add more in my opinion, um, but you can't take it out, so I don't want it soupy. And then I'll come back to you once I get it all mixed together, and I'll show you what it looks like. Before the water's added, here's a look. Okay, here it is mixed. I'm ready to seal it up and wait about 8 to 10 minutes. Um, I see that there's plenty of corn. It all looks pretty delectable. Um, mixed up really easily. Nothing stuck in the corners or anything. And I haven't eaten a lot of vegetables in my regular life, so my um, anticipated usage is to add about a half a cup of vegetables to whatever entree I'm mixing up. This looks like it's really lending itself to that. So let's see what it tastes like later. While we're waiting, I wanted to show you the nutrition facts. So you can freeze it there, take a look. <clears throat> Essentially, the ingredients are pasta, diced chicken, and there seems to be enough. Um, tomato powder, freeze-dried corn, onion granules, a little bit of non-fat milk powder, some salt, garlic granules, sliced mushrooms, mixed red and, uh, red and green bell pepper, and some basil. I think I could taste the basil. Um, and so 50 grams of carbohydrate, sorry I just wasn't paying attention, I was reading. Um, 50 grams of carbohydrate and 3 grams of fiber. Now that is uh, with two serving sizes, so you split it in half and it's 270 calories. Um, the sodium content is just 330, so that is absolutely wonderful. And I did wind up using the full two cups of water, just to let you know. Oh, that took a long, little longer than expected. Um, just called a puppy emergency. <laughs> okay, so it rested for about 20 minutes instead of the 10 to 12 minutes that it said on the package, but um, everything seems to have reconstituted well. It certainly smells great. Um, I, it is thick, and that's usually the way I like my pasta dishes, but I think I might add a little bit more water um, next time. But, you know, that's exactly why I had a little less, so that I can add more. Okay, so I'm going to give it a try. Let's see. I don't think I need quite that much, but plenty of vegetables. Focus, focus. There you go. Hmm. Okay, so I can definitely taste a little bit of lime. Um, I think it's a little bit flat, but it, but that's probably, I probably just need a pinch of salt, and most people would prefer a little less salt than more salt. Cricket. And uh, so I'm going to give that a try, add a little bit of water, and I'll let you know how it is. I prefer things that are under salted and um, so that way I can add my own and, and make it my I kind of have a personal touch. Um, I think I'll probably add some additional vegetables, not sure which ones, maybe freeze dried onions or black beans or something else. Um, it doesn't need anything else. I'm just thinking of splitting this entree in half. Obviously it serves two and that way I can add more vegetables and have a little lower ratio of pasta. But boy is it good. It smells good. It tastes good. I'm really enjoying this one. So it's a winner. Thumbs up.